So to get into the software, we have two icons here. This one is just for uh, image processing, and this is for use the confocal. You have to choose your user. If you don't have one, talk to me. Put your own password. And it's going to ask you if you want to use the confocal or a setup that is more for um, H&E. I want to use the confocal. It's going to load. that are here in this eye of the microscope. What you can change with these two volumes is the filter, the filter that you are going to use. For example, you have red and uh, DAPI. In this sense, you can see in here that this is going to be set for DAPI, for FIT, for Tracy, and then it's this is going to be useful for the IC, for example. It's nothing. Okay, these other two buttons that are here help to uh, turn down and up the objective, specifically here. When I press down, you can see that the entire, the entire, if I press up, I go, if I go focus up, and then I press down, the entire uh, set of things go down and up, up and down. And this other uh, device that is here uh, helps to move the, the slide from one side to another. And you can also uh, turn in this, uh, move this, you can pick the sensitivity of this of this uh, palanque. The other button that this have is this, that is a focus. It's the same focus that we have here, but manually here. And you can also choose the sensitivity with this button. This other one that is here is the laser power. The laser power of the microscope when it's not scanning. So when we are using the microscope to see our samples, we will use this. If you press the bottom, it's going to turn on. And if you move the wheel, it's going to uh, increase and decrease the laser power. So once we are done with this set, we don't, you don't have to touch anything here. And we already have our uh, basic software. So to start using the microscope and to put the slides there, we have to go to iPort that is here and click there. And now we are ready to work with the microscope manually. So we don't want to have the laser on, so I'm going to move the filters from 3C to analyze and I see that my light is on. I can turn it on and off. I would like to start using a 10x or a 20x. In this case, I'm going to use a 20x. 20x is without oil, so it's easy. So I'm going to put with the cover slide down. And I'm going to move around the slide trying to find for my tissue, looking for my tissue, where is it? I can find it there, I'm going to move all the way here, and I know that the retina is there. So having the big picture of the retina is here, and I have all the objects down, because it's how it starts. I'm going to start going down, going up with the object, trying to find the focus. You can arrange this to have binocularity and going up until I may focus here.
sometimes if it's not moving, perhaps because the objective is with this button down, you have to push the button up, and now I can move it. This is a very common mistake. I have just made it. So now it's moving up the focus, and I'm making focus. In this setup that I put, it's called DIC. You have a nice clean view of the retina and this is going to help you to choose the retina that is in, in good shape because the first objective here is to find first to make a focus and then to find uh, apparently good place where you can zoom in. In this case the retina looks like to be pretty well attached uh, in all the places. So I'm going to choose this one that is here and I'm going to do a zoom in. To change the objective I want to go down again pressing down the bottom. So in this stage we can go to see with the lasers and see if we have fluorescent or we can change for a higher magnification. If we think that we are fine in the place that we want to focus, we can uh, go down with the entire objectives, pressing this button, and everything went down. In this, in this moment, I can manually move this, and for example, may you focus here? Focus here, please. Uh, when you move, you can. This is the, the good place. But if you move manually, you can have your objective here and add a very small drop. Come back and then press the button again to go up. The other button, the opposite button, to go up with the objectives. So when I press it, this is going to do like this and it's going to be close there, to the same focus plane that you made before. You have just to adjust a little bit and center the place that you want to work with. And now that you have it and it's more or less in focus, most of the time you want to see what's happening with the lasers. So in this case, we are going to turn down to, to shoot off the light for the DIC and we have to move from the analyze for, to the uh, filter for the... Um, pressing this button, you can, you can move onto the first laser power, okay? In this case it's on, if I touch it the, the wheel is going to turn on and off. It's good to start with very low laser power and then increase it if it's necessary. I'm touching up, I'm turning on, and I'm going to increase a little bit. I'm not seeing much in this uh, Trixie, and I'm going to move to the next uh, to the next laser that is going to be fits. And now I have a better staining. So with this I can tune much more what I'm looking for. And when I find a place that I want to take a picture, I keep it like this. And now I'm going to, the so to work with the software.